Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance Paper 2 Physics in the year 2019. The question is from the topic of collisions. Uh, it was one of the better questions in this paper, uh, which stumbled many of the good students as well. So let's see what's happening over here. Uh, this is a particle which is moving at a speed v. V is the instantaneous speed. Uh, the particle is moving inside a very narrow tube which is smooth and the distance instantaneous distance between the left end of the tube and the piston which is also moving at a speed of vp actually it is given capital v but so as to differentiate between the speed of the uh, particle and the piston i am writing this as vp so remember this is not the speed of the particle it is the speed of the piston so vp is the symbol i am taking for the piston right so what happens whenever particle goes and strike the piston it uh, it there is an elastic collision and after the elastic collision uh, the particle returns and again goes back to this left end there is also one condition given so this is vp velocity of the piston so this is one condition given that vp is much much less than dl by l where dl is the distance moved by the piston in, in uh, like small distance moved by the piston okay so we will see the con uh, use of this condition as well why like why do we need this condition so uh, piston is being moved very very slowly uh, inside this uh, tube and instantaneous distance is l so initially the distance was l was the l has the had the value of l naught okay and initial particle speed word was v naught when the value of l was l naught at that instance the speed particle uh, speed of the particle was v naught okay so we have to check some options that uh, after every collision the speed of the particle is going to increase by 2v uh, if the piston moves by a certain distance dl then the speed of the particle is going to increase by this much amount 2v dl by l okay uh, then the particle kinetic energy will will increase by a factor of 4 if it's if the distance between the piston and the left end of the tube uh, becomes half and the rate at which particle strikes the piston so we, these are the options that we have to check now first option is pretty obvious if you think carefully then we can say that uh, the you know after every elastic collision the speed of the piston is going to increase by sorry speed of the particle is going to increase by 2v because it's very very heavy piston is very very heavy this is also given in the question so piston is very very heavy in comparison to the particle how can we prove this? By the way, this is a standard result. But if you want me to prove this, then we can prove this by an argument itself. If you stand on the piston, so this particle is going to move with the speed of V plus Vp. Right? And in the frame of piston, piston will not move. Now, since it's an elastic collision, so particle is going to return with the same speed, V, v plus Vp. Correct? In the frame of piston. So in the frame of piston, if it returns by this speed, that means in the ground frame, it is moving at a speed of two uh, V plus two VP, correct? Hence, now you can see if it comes at V and it uh, in the ground frame, it, it comes at V and it is returning at V plus two VP. Therefore, we can say that the increase in the speed of the particle per collision is two VP, right? By the way, this is a standard result. So many of you might be knowing this as well. Hence, option A was right. After each collision the, uh, with the piston, the particle speed will increase by 2 Vp. So remember, capital V is Vp actually. Now, if piston moves, let's check for the, some other, op uh, other options. Now, if I draw the figure, just let's say this is the piston for the time being. And this distance is L at the moment. And this particle is moving at a speed v and piston is moving at a speed v vp, VP which is very very small now if you remember there was one condition given in the question v is much much less than dl by l v naught now this is vp actually which is much much less than dl by l into v naught v naught is the original speed of the particle now let's see what this condition means so if you write this if you take vp on the right side and remaining terms on the left side so this will become l upon v naught now if you see this is the distance this is the time taken by the, uh, the i think equality sign will be opposite yeah so 
like this. This is the time taken by the piston to move a slight distance dl, distance upon speed. So this is the time taken by the piston to move a very, very small distance dl. And this is the time taken by the particle, we can say to move one, one of the, you know, uh, one like from this to this side, uh, one way motion. Ek taraf jane ka motion, uh, ek taraf jane ka time ye likha hai for the particle. So this time is very, very large in comparison to this time. So what does this imply? This implies that by the time piston moves slightly ahead, this particle would have made a lot of collisions. Dhar, 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 dhar. So it would have made number of collisions. Dhar, 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 dhar. So we can say that, you know, the frequency of the collisions will be very, very high, right? Now, frequency of the collisions. So basically, after uh, how we will, we will write frequency of the collision? Frequency of the collision is very simple. We can say that, you know, number of collisions per second. So how much distance does it move in one second particle? It moves V distance in one second because speed is the distance per second. So uh, we can say that uh, uh, we, uh, we can say that V basically this is the speed of the particle divided by 2L, right? Because for traveling for one collision, it needs to travel 2L distance to and fro we're talking about. So frequency of the collision will become V by 2L, okay? And what is the increment in the speed of the uh, particle? What is the increment in the speed of the particle per collision? So increment in the speed of the particle per collision is 2 VP. So remember, this is the number of collisions per second. And in one collision, this is the increment in the speed. So can we say that rate of change of velocity of the particle is nothing but this only V by 2L into 2 VP? Think. This is the number of collisions per second. Ek second mein kitne collision ho rahe hai and ek collision mein kitne speed change ho rahe hai. So that means this is the total rate of change of speed or velocity we can say. Okay, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. This is V into VP upon uh, L, right? This is V into VP upon L. Before doing further, we have to check one option. If the piston moves by distance DL, the particle speed increases by this amount. So let's see if this option is correct or not. So can we write VP into uh, VP DT ko open DL ikh sakte hai kya? VP DT ko. VP DT ko we can write DL. Theek hai? DT time mein uh, agar piston DL distance aage move kar hai. So we can write VP DT as DL. So DV will be is equals to V by L into DL. Correct? So what do we get? If the, part, if the piston moves by distance DL, the particle speed increases by 2v into dl by l so how much is the increase of the speed we are see, we can see that increase in the speed of the particle is v by l dl not 2 Agar pe 2 aata, then option b would have become correct but option b is wrong okay so this is the equation that we are getting this is the equation that we are getting now we can integrate this equation one more thing we have to put minus sign over here why do we need to put minus sign over here in reality, L is decreasing with time. Okay, and V is increasing with time. So that means uh, we have to put minus sign. Okay, so reality may jo VP hai, that is minus DL by DT. Velocity of piston is minus DL by DT. So that's why we, we, we need to put minus sign. Okay, so now when we integrate this initial value was L naught, initial speed was V naught. We have to find the uh, kinetic energy when particles uh, when distance becomes l0 by 2 so we can say that when distance becomes l0 by 2 let's say speed becomes b so here it becomes ln of v by v0 will be equals to minus ln of half because l0 by 2 by l0 karenge to half ya jayega okay so this will become ln2 so v by v0 will become 2 okay so v will become 2 v0 Hence, we can say that speed of the particle has doubled when the piston has moved to half the distance. So, which implies kinetic energy would have become four times. Kinetic energy would have become four times. So, this option is correct. Option C is correct. Rate at which particle strikes the piston, we have already found this is nothing but frequency, which is V by 2L. Rate of collision is frequency of collision, which is V by 2L, which is option D is wrong. So, we can say that option C and option A were the correct options. So, I hope you would have understood the solution. That's it. Thank you.